Hey Hot Garbage Squad Squad, the Foxy here back with another video. Today we'll be discussing arena defense and how this is going to be a beginner tutorial for you to help make your own defense. Yes, I do do AD reviews, but yes, it's also really packed and you may not make it. So this video is for you guys who want to use their brains and create your own defenses. First of all, if, if your defense looks anything like this, pause the video, change it, and we are ready to go, all right? So if you just changed it and you're back now, I'll teach you the three types of defenses you want to build around the most common offenses. And you already know number one begins with Lucian. Number two can be tied with number one here, Tiana slash Slow Cleave. And number three, I like to call it the RNG box. So we'll go into that after this part right here. Nani, wait. This is Raid Shadow Legends. Yep, they're back at it again with another sponsored video. You probably already know it's like Summer's War with a sick, nasty twist. What I love about this game is they give you so many free things. Like, look at these daily rewards. You can play all day for 90 days with all these free resources. I'm playing on the PC version. And it works on mobile too. See, I'm on my phone right now. And make sure you check out the Amazon Prime free loot by signing up before February 9th and getting three epic skill books and 40 EXP potions. They got tons for you to do from training, dungeons, raids, and PvP. So what are you waiting for, hot garbage? Check out the new player program through the description below and get a free 100k silver and a free champion called the Sick Nasty Slasher. Click that red arrow and get your rewards for the next 30 days. Seriously guys, check out that game. So let's go ahead into how to build your AD as a beginner. It's going to be the very basics. And the first basic here thing I want to talk about is this defense I showed you earlier, right? Why is this terrible? Because out of everything that's bad, the number one thing I'm going to say is, is double Lucian food. Okay. You'll never, I'm going to repeat, you'll never be able to counter every type of offense out there, but you want to eliminate yourself from the most common defense uh, AOs to destroy defenses. That number one is double Lucian food. So you'll see here, none of these units counter double Lucian. Okay, maybe the Bella does if you're on double Nemesis. So oftentimes to counter double Lucian users, some people will use something along the lines of boom, boom. And then where is my young mummy here, huh? Where's my young mummy? Or something like this, okay? The reason why you'll see here is they bait you with two water units and then you and then think oh i can double lucian it then they see double fire right so it's something like this even or even if you have one fire unit and then you have another water unit for example like this this is double lucianable it is however it's a little bit risky if the fire mummy destroys your double lucians and but you're done right if you don't have a bestet your shields are gonna do you're gonna hurt from no shield right so sometimes you can't build a, you want to build a, around being double Lucian tier, then the easiest way is to toss in more fire units. So sometimes a very common thing, you might see something along the lines of this as well. And then something along the lines of having a Rakan. So you have double fire, you have a Miho that counters cleave, and then you have one water unit thinking like trying to bait them into Lucianing you, but also Camilla's passive works really well as a um, deterrent. Is this my Camilla? I think that's my Camilla. Yeah, it is. Anyways, so that's one version of how you want to counter double Lucian. Another really easy one is right here if you have a Freya. So if you don't know what Freya does, uh, where is my Freya? Hmm. Where is right this right here, right? If you don't know what Freya does, basically she does a full heal when she dies here. Double Lucian's users don't always have Ganymede to reset to make double Lucian through Ganymede reset on your primary Lucian. Not everyone has that luxury, right? So having that HP lead, having something, some variation that looks like this again, having double mummy even, or even like this, it doesn't matter. The amount of fire units makes them not want to hit you. I swear if you even put a Juno fire unit, as long as a tanky fire unit, it will be okay to counter double Lucians, right? Another way that you can counter double Lucian is running a lot of revives. So you'll probably see something along the lines of one, and then you see two, and then you have three, right? You have your Vanessa, double healer, double harps, and then sometimes you also see a 
Camilla on this defense. Why does this counter double Lucian? Well, first of all, you have double fire, so really hard to double Lucian two double fires, especially if the harmonious super tank like triple HP, for example, and the menace is on speed, crit damage, HP. So you have one water unit on this team and one neutral with wind makes them like, okay, can I double Lucian it? Things like this with revive, healing, things that are very high sustain that won't die to double amps. Or like this team, if the first Lucian kills off the um, kills off the Vanessa, Triana will steal the turn and heal up the rest of the monsters, for example. Uh, so keep that in mind to counter double Lucian. All right. So you don't want your defense to be double Lucianable. And another way to counter that is running Nemesis healers. You will see earlier that I put in Ariel. So some Nemesis healers, like I mentioned, Bella Dion. Ariel, Praha, for example, that counters double Lucian users. If your double nemesis actually goes off and assuming they aren't super speed charged and they, they don't have enough speed and you cut in. So different ways to counter double Lucian, fire units, super stall tank defenses and healing in between through nemesis runes. All right, the second defense um, is the super speedy defense control type of teams. I will say nine, ten, nine, of, nine out of 10 on your list, maybe eight out of 10, you will see some variation that looks like this team that I'm currently building. Um, so I'm trying to find my last unit. I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. If I can even find him. Uh, give me lots of time to guess here. <laughs> All right, it's, it's in my storage, dang it. Dang it, it didn't go the way I wanted. Uh, this, right? And the last unit is, imagine this, imagine the Zyros is like Erika, for example, okay? This last one is a control unit. So the, the formula here is 33 speed lead, Triton slash Kiana, AKA the stripper first turn, double control units, that's the formula. So this team counters the most common AO that we talked about is the cleave and the slow cleave. If you're slow cleaving and they take first turn, you destroy them with this type of composition. If you don't, then you at least threaten your at least you threaten your AI not messing up, right? But any shield will users that will not go first, your Triton, your Tiana AD defense on super speed will go first. If I try to outspeed you, the question is, all right, that Tiana is now, now a Triton. Triton's base speed is super, super high, right? Can I counter that super high base speed of Triton? Honestly, I'm not sure because look at this. Very quick math here. Very quick math. 96 is your AO Tiana versus a base speed of, uh, boom, 116. That's 20 more speed. So is your rune quality, do you have 20 more speed on the enemy with your Tiana? Can you Tiana their Triton on, on defense? I'm not sure. However, also keep in mind that Triton, no one puts their best Swift units on AD, but let's assume an equal world of equal runes or people that's above you. Your Bernard is also five speed slower than your Triton. So having the Triton on defense or a Tiana, Tiana's like not as good as like S and then Triton's like four S's. That's how good Triton is, okay, on AD because of the base speed. So by going first, you can counter them real, real easily, running a variation that looks like this formula once again. Speed lead has to be 33. If it's a 24, I'm automatically not scared. Tiana slash Triton on your fastest swift set or one of your fastest on Triton because you don't need it to be your fastest because it's 116 base. Control unit that looks like Rika, Jeans, and then we have the last control unit, another damage dealer or a control unit. All right, it's not a Zyros, trust me. The most common one is Jean Rika because Rika has a kill potential, okay? I know that sometimes people also put a Triana just in case something dies. I would not recommend an Oki because his AI is really bad, okay? Let's move on to the last common AD um, that, um, or the AO that we want to count with our AD that we want to build around, okay? And it was a kind of a trick question actually, a trick statement by me. Category number three, RNG. And RNG for me refers to things like this, okay? How do you beat this? I, uh, it's very easy. The RNG comp, okay? It is called 
the Tiana. And then the Sierra, if you're, this is a super premium team, okay? Sierra and a Bomber. So my Bomber in this case is Liebly. So your attack bar buffer will be a Galleon or a Bastet slash Megan. Bombs, ignore this passive called Camilla. Okay, maybe you don't have that many Camillas like me, okay? No problem. What if I change that Camilla to a Rena? Still, the Bombs will go, like will not trigger as passive initially. So dropping a suit, my, my, my Liebly bomb, right? Like if my bombs actually land, then like I don't think any of this thing is living or almost almost a very small amount and my Sierra can finish it off. So that's the RNG comp that's very common. So you don't want to build things like this where it can instantly, there's no like, there's no anti-revive, right? There's no strip potential because it could be a slow Tiana. You don't want to get automatically bombed up in four tanks on your defense. Another RNG defense here is Pretend that, okay, pretend this awesome fire panda is a light panda, okay? And then pretend my awesome, awesome, awesome Leica is now a ragdoll. I call this a super LD comp and pretend this Shazam is like the worst nightmare of LDs that you hate. I got a super LD team. Slap all your good LDs. If I see a Shazam on your defense, it's like free low. Okay, but if I see a Ragdoll, Gianna, I see a Neftis, mm, I'm gonna rethink that. I call that the RNG comp. So if you have that, slap it on and you will do so well against the common um, AOs because LD Nat 5 means skip, okay? And like I said earlier at the beginning of this chapter, this video, you're not going to counter all ADs, but countering most of them or the most common ones will help you rank up and for the higher players if you know who's farming you and you know their ao you can build your defense around them so like trying to get word off the street in the g3 street of who, who's farming you and the strategy probably illusion to be honest with you all right so um keep in mind these three things when you are building your own defense i will still be doing the ad review series so don't worry, all right? I will keep rating your ADs. If you want to build your own right now and then come see me when I do that video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if this video helped you produce a basic AD for yourself.